Bowling since I was legit. Oh, the tone is scared. I gotta go to get rich. Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ari. I'm gonna be reacting to the YouTube versus TikTok fight. The only person besides Austin that I really know is DDG. So, yeah, uh, we're gonna react to this fight. Alright, if you guys this to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. I don't have 100,000, five from it. Oh, okay, that's the one. Let's get it. No, in the middle of the ring, extremely right. quickly. Both of them seem like they're putting the pressure on. Oh, big right hand. Oh, shit. DDG. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. DDG closing the distance. I would like him to keep up. Hey, that's rapid up. Hey, that's rapid up. I'm in line. Capitalize and throw the most power. Well, Paige, what do you see from their stances and their initial pressure? Their initial pressure. I like the stance.
just a little bit. Now it is hot here and the rain is welcome to cool us off. It's so hot. It's pouring outside and they're pouring punches in this rain. Amazing. Nah, he missed. He, nah, he hit him. Just winding up. He missed. It yeah, went over his head. He ducked. Good, good showing out of both of these guys. Still, I have DDG a little bit more with the experience. He's putting punches and bunches, like I like to say. Now, That's when you land. Now, let me ask you. Do you guys think this goes the distance? I don't. No, no. I think it's going to be over either here in the third round or the fourth. Right hand, so you, I, you know what? If they can keep their energy up, it could co keep going, you know? I feel like... Both of these guys, I'm seeing some heavy breathing out of both corners. These are our VIP sitting here at ringside, just like in Miami, complete with bottle service. <laughs> complete with bottle service. The stars are out tonight. This is a packed house, right? This is absolutely amazing. Coming from the sports world, I was so curious. I was like, all right, do these guys have fans or do they have followers? No, these guys have fans, and they showed up tonight. When no. the crew told me the amount of people that were going to be in attendance, I was blown away, and they're all here. Yeah, there's still some rules. You, know, you can't pack every seat, but you can bring a lot, and they're all here. Yeah. Almost 15,000 fans have shown up here at Hard Rock Stadium, the site of the Super Bowl two years Years ago, and the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes knocked off the San Francisco 49ers right here on this very field. And now, DDG! Why are you doing? Why are you doing? Why are you doing? Oh. Jab out there pretty well, but he just wasn't able to get his head out of the way after he throws his punches. Right, that head position. He's got to get out of in front of the punches. The first inning eight count of this fight. DDG is not letting him rest, just rushing, 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 even after the last clinch, getting one in. Oh my. And DDG continues to kind of just set up that big right hand page and launch from halfway across the ring. Yes, he is. Fight the man, Wyatt. What happened to this thing? Yo, Wyatt, 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 what happened to you? Nate, 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 cool it, cool it. Talking stops when you're gassed to the gills. Right. It does, and then you see them kind of closing their eyes on these punches and throwing with full authority, hoping that they land, but you got to keep those eyes open. Punches and bunches, set your shots up if you want to finish tonight. Looks like we will see a fourth round here between Nate Wyatt of TikTok and DDP. DDG, excuse me. I was channeling my inner pro wrestling <laughs> DDP. <laughs> Diamond Dallas Page. There's been a sighting in Miami. <laughs> It's really raining now. I mean, we're getting hit and we're underneath the tent. Does that make sense? You know what? The great thing about Florida is if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. <laughs> Damn, that's that. a good combo. I've lived here for a year and I think I've had a hundred people tell me that. And it's absolutely true. It should only be around for a few minutes and we should be dry. Here's some of the action from that third round. Uppercut. Boom. Ooh, amazing Boom. uppercut. Upper leading into a lead hook. Boom. There's a lot of closing of the eyes yeah. tonight. Yes. You know, I love watching these replays on these punches. The Jarvis one was amazing. But that uppercut right there, that looks beautiful. Big Van Zandt, Keemstar, Coach Foos, Charlemagne the God, our entire social gloves team. The fighters tonight from the start, Mikhail Saraj and Ryan Johnston, to now, they've really given all to us. Foosie, what's your scorecard looking like? You know what? I got this going all the way to DDG right now through all three rounds. I don't think Nate's giving him a lot of opportunity to showcase what he got. There's a lot of locking out the hustle going on. And I'm, at, I'm surprised this last one. Ooh. And now DDG, once again getting two, then three shots in on Nate Wyatt. Oh. Yeah, and Wyatt doesn't like this, right? That's why he keeps ducking his head really low. We're seeing these tie-ups. DDG needs to be moving backwards a little more, not so much forward. If he can move backwards and move Oh, 
this is the fight. No, minus the, the huggy. Indeed, I agree with what you just said. Round, Let him come to him. Fight the DDG doesn't want to embarrass him. Like DDG won that not serve. But I feel like if he just you know, it cool and chill, the not will come to him. In a fight, the ref, I don't even notice that they're there. So I'm very, that's a good observation. I don't know what in the world he could be saying. <laughs> You catch him because he's dropping his right every time. So you can see there in the corner one of the great trainers in boxing. Legendary. Huh? So Joel Diaz, Timothy Bradley. Recover, recover. Boy, I mean, all. Take a deep breath. Deep breath. Vargas, I mean, you name it, this man right here has trained them. Take a deep breath. Yeah, you know, it's amazing to see these YouTubers, like, they're not just grabbing some coach or whatever. They're trying to find the absolute best. You know, they got the fame, they got the money. They don't do this lightly, they do this serious. Well, these coaches do not have to coach them, right? When I walk into a boxing gym, I have to prove to the coach that I, that I deserve to be there. These guys did something to prove to these coaches that they deserve to be there. They, they showed that they're real fighters and they were invested in their career. These, fight, these coaches don't have to take on anybody. That's a very, very good point. All right, here we go. Our fifth and talks. final round. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, that's a great point, too. The check clears. Not just got him. All right, does Nate Wyatt have anything left for DDG? Oh, oh, oh no, that's, that's right. water. That that nigga knocked the water on his heel. Well, you know, you got hot hot, you got to get hit for the water to leave your head. He continues, Mark continues to turn his head away, and that's why he's getting caught with these back of the head shots, as he's saying. The referee is pretty much had it at this point. Yes, he has had it. Look at him. Stop tying up, guys. <laughs> and that's just your exhaustion, right? At this point, they got enough energy to throw one power punch, and then they got to hold on for dear life. Situation. These are not experienced, uh, you know, boxers. They haven't had boxing matches before. You know, they're not going to listen. You need someone that will make them listen. <laughs> Inside of 40 seconds now, round number five. It's fight tonight. Scheduled for five rounds. Two minute rounds. Still to come tonight. Our main event, Austin McBroom of YouTube. And well, I might as well just. survive this. He absolutely did, and that's the thing, is he took a lot of punches, a lot more damage than I think he anticipated, but he sucked it oh, up shit. and he gutted through this fight. Knock his head off, DDG. Put his head in his back pocket. And the finish line looks like a DDG resounding it's, it's, victory. It's, it's, Well, Nate Wyatt, he has the debonair 
movie star good looks for a TikToker. Uh, well, I mean, not right now. If you see, there's a lot of swelling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, I can talk about that. I have been cut open and bloodied up. <laughs> well, we can obviously tell who won. The person wants to record and say, man, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to make a part that say, didn't she want him to fight? I think it just abused him. But I hope, I hope there's more events like this. I feel like it's fun, you know what I mean? Once a year, since this whole COVID shit, you should have, you know, like sports like that. I don't, I think basketball is too, it's too, it's too much people. I feel like basketball. And boxing, everybody take their time, not take their time, but. Everybody, every man for himself, you determine if you won or if you lose, you dig? One, one v one. So, yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe. Comment down below. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Show your boys some love. Yes, it's far, but I don't give a damn. I still want it. Maybe I said we're going to have an awesome day. Be happy, be blessed. Remember, the world is yours. Peace. Oh.